Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Recraft AI, an infinite artboard where you can generate vector images, illustration in your style, design logos, or even visualize ideas. So let's take a look at it. So first use case we will take a look at is logo creation. So let's take click on vector. Now here it's asking me for vector art style. I have different style: line art, flat, 2D, cartoon, kawaii, and line of So I'll go. And if you want something like an icon, it also has multiple options for it as well as for logos. So let's take a look at it, how it creates. So it has given me some options for different, different patterns. Honestly, these are not very great. So let's talk about vector art. I'll write about a logo which has a brain blooming into right now i have selected the vector art model and i have given the idea that i want for the logo so let's see how it creates output of the vector art model is way better than the logo model so if you want a logo out of this one you can simply select the vector art and select the type of logo that you like and then describe the logo that you want on double click on the logo and select different colors so for example if this is a mindfulness ai i would it would be able to change the color to like a blue swatch and click on randomize to create random logo colors and you can select the one that you like In this settings you can have level of details you can add like primitives and exclude image like for example if you want a logo but you don't want something in that like for example if you want a brain logo but you don't want like different veins to be visible so you can write like veins stuff like that and make it more detailed or less detailed here I'll generate the same logo, same illustration with raster options and it has different styles as well like for example 3D, photorealism and illustration. So what if I create a same image with raster and I can select recraft. So let's see how it creates. So as you can see it has created that illustration and I can even change the style so maybe something like this which would create a more logo style of a illustration. So maybe something like you like this you want and you can then AI upscale is vectorize it, repaint it. For example, repainting is something like you want it to wear a hat. So you have to just click like this and then add a hat. Click on recraft. So like this, it has added a hat to the illustration and it has given me different options. If you click on replace BG, it selects everything in the background and then just you just have to write what you want. So like for example, galaxy with plants and then let's see what happens. So like this, it has changed the background from the original image like this and it has also given me few options like I like this one. So similarly, you can use this tool to create like for example, a ve custom vector. For example, I like this as a, and I want to use it as a logo. I can just go to export and export is as, it as SVG or PNG. SVG would be greater, great for, for example, website use or anything else. So, and even Lottie so that you can animate it later. So for me, the raster tool is okay. It, it gives you free credit. It, there's no coins in here. So you can generate, I believe, like a large number of generations infill erase region repaint rasterize and even upscale so it's a good tool for editing images as well as creating vector art in order to create vector art again you have to use the vector art and the style even for logos as well but their logo model is not that great so so that's it for this video click here to watch other interesting videos on my channel and i will see you in the next one